into a, the next revolution, which is called the fourth industrial revolution. The one of the things that we discovered is that disability people or people physically challenged or people with disability, they are being excluded. And we believe that this project could include them. And we believe that drone making can, can make them part of everything. We then taught them how to put 3D printers together because the 3D printer actually prints the parts for the drones. And then we made the drones. And then we assembled it, we put it together, and then we flew with the drones. Both drones that can fly, like little small drones that could fly, and they actually gave us very much that we can fly the, as individuals. I was just sitting at home and doing nothing, and then after I heard about that, I, I was interested to go and, and to make drones. I didn't know anything about drones, or so the first time even I heard about it, I just see things that fly and I didn't know if they are drones. It's very exciting for me, and it's pleasing for me. I wish it was more than three months. So we need to help each other here, you understand? We needed to make them understand what business entrepreneurship is all about, but also how do you sell yourself? Because you can make a product, but if you can't sell yourself, the product will stand dead still. And the whole aim is to empower them from entrepreneurial skills in the, before we go into the drone making. The drone making was the last part. The whole aim is to make sure they understand robotics, monotronics, and also understand how all these things fit together. Come on, Wolfie, show me what you got. Media Movement also organized a special training workshop for learners and adults in the Metro South Education District. During the morning session, the participants were given entrepreneurial skills, robotics and drone making. Each participant was also given a do-it-yourself kit to build a small drone. Industry professionals shared some helpful information regarding aviation laws around flying drones. Tonight was graduating, basically capping them for the effort they've been putting in since October till now. It was a three months full intensive program. It's a skills program and really they have proven they come out tops. Yeah, we want to thank the MICTC for being a partner on this project firstly. This is 30 people that were selected. So we really are grateful for the MICTC for allowing us to prove to them that people with disability, which we uh, sometimes neglect, you know, they can also do things in life. And this project was all about how they can make drones and basically be part of this fourth industrial revolution. Today is the culmination of your time here at YMM. We have achieved top-notch technical education and you are entering the industry at a unique moment in its history. The fourth industrial revolution is here and it is changing the way we work and live. You cannot go back and sit at home. You cannot. Uh, we gave you skills, we gave you knowledge. Now it's time for you guys to go back and implement those skills. It's time for you guys to make our townships a place to talk about, you know.
We don't want to fly the drones in blowback parklands. We want to fly the drones here in Michel's Plain. We want to have a factories here in Michel's Plain. We want to employ our brothers and sisters who want to improve our townships. You know, our offices is based in Woodstock. We want to have our offices here in Michel's Plain. But we cannot come here, ladies and gents, if you guys are not making it happen. Now it's your turn to run these programs. It's your turn also to develop our brothers and sisters that are sitting at home. The, the event is hosted at Glendale High, which is where we are based. We have a hall here and the school itself has started a catering business for itself and is basically empowering the learners from the school to basically run events. It was very nice for me. It was very nice to make the rounds and to do the Lego. The, the drones and the robots and the 3D printing was very nice for me. Oh, it was fun for me in Saki. It was very awesome and nice. I'm very proud of Bronwyn Orange and what she achieved during the schools. She's a great um, child and is always willing to take it to what Bo can. I'm very proud of her and that she will always do things and take it what Bo can. And I'm grateful for her because she's a bundle of joy for me also. And I'm grateful that she could have achieved something like this. And I would, wouldn't mind for her to take another course if there is one. Ooh, well, okay, he went to school in Tembele to high school when he was, I'm not sure what, when he left that school. But after he left the school, like he didn't know what to do, he didn't have anything else, and then this came along. So lucky for him, he's also into like business, like he wants to do his own things, and this is like a great opportunity for him to do that. So you guys are very proud, the family very proud. Very proud of him, very proud of him. Because every day when he came, like every time he comes to class, whenever he comes back home, he's always excited, like he's always telling us something new, something great like they did in class. Zulfa Dolci and since she came here by this project um, it changed her a lot. She was very excited to come here because she was a different child. When she is home she um, people making fun of her but when she's just um, between the children and the leaders they are, she are very happy and and she makes me also happy when she's happy and she loves it here. And there's a big change in Zufa's life. It's a big, big change. And I'm so grateful for those people who choose her to be one of the children making a drone. And she's, she's very excited and she's, she's very happy. Um, yes, I didn't know my son would have come this far, like making in drones and would have been a graduate. Did you change? And, yes, he did change. Yeah. In what way did you change? Like in being humble and discipline, so, yeah. I'm proud, I'm so, 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 so very proud because my son, I, I'm not waiting for this day because I know my son, who I'm, I'm so desperate for life of that child, but this day, I'm not waiting. But I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, so, so surprised. I'm so, I'm so very thankful a lot. And the teachers only for this class. I'm so thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm waiting another process again. I've chosen different able people because the CETA wanted a game changer. I gave him a game changer. Different able people, there were 28 of them. We only had two able people. And the different able people outran all of us because they were there every day, they were participating and they were making sure that nothing goes past. I started growing some confidence, some self-confidence, and my self-esteem has been boosted. We work through institutions like the Association for Physical Disabled, 
We also work with the NYDA, the National Development Agency, and we also make sure that the partners that is affiliated to the NYDA and the APD, that those people, uh, those organizations bring from these people to us. I was not used to being around people, but thank you to, y, to the YMM, I've got like, to get to, to know people again, to, to stay with people again. The future of this project is that we're going to make sure that these people that were trained, they're going to go into the communities and they are going to empower their own communities. Because clearly, as you can see, that the, the program really, it, it took me by surprise because they have taken this project and they've made it their baby. When I'm done with this program, we should ease now. I'm going to actually have a community of 10 to 15 people and I'm actually going to teach them how first, how to design a drone, draw their own drone. But I'm going to make them do research on robotics and on drones. I want to study more further. I want to learn more about this thing and I also want to show other people in my community and my other friends that I have disabilities and how to show them how to make drones. They actually want to take it to schools and to places in their communities and bring the awareness and I think that's phenomenal. and I can go back to my ex-school and show them that I've, I dropped out from you guys, now look what I have. Can I come back, can I come back to you and help, help your students to how to fly drones and how to make drones?